When I was 29, I told myself the next acting job I get, no matter what it pays, I will from now on, for better or worse, be a working actor. So I quit my position at the professional examination services and now I didn't have either the internet or a cell phone or a job. But something good happened. I got a low paying theater job in a play called Imperfect Love, which led to a film called 13 Moons with the same writer, which led to other roles, which led to other roles. And I've worked as an actor ever since. I didn't know that would happen. At 29, walking away from data processing, I was terrified. 10 years in a place without heat, six years at a job I felt stuck in, maybe I was afraid of change. Are you? My parents didn't have much money, but they struggled to send me to the best schools. And one of the most important things they did for me is that once I graduated, I was on my own. Financially, it was my turn. But this made me very hungry, literally. I couldn't be lazy. Now I'm totally lazy, but back then, I couldn't be. And so at 29, and a very long last, I was in the company of the actors and writers and directors I'd sought out that first year, that first day after school. I was, I am, by their sides. Raise the rest of your life to meet you. Don't search for defining moments because they will never come. The moments that define you have already happened, and they will already happen again. Sorry, it sucks after graduation. It really does. I mean, I don't know, at least it did for me, but that's the only thing I know. You, you just get a bit derailed. But soon something starts to happen, trust me. A rhythm sets in. Just try not to wait until, like me, you're 29 before you find it. And if you are, that's fine too. Some of us never find it. But you will. I promise you. What did Beckett say? Ever tried ever failed, no matter, try again, fail again, fail better.